tell me a little bit about uh, gospel music here in New Orleans and why it's so exciting to you. Well, New Orleans has a great variety of, of gospel music. You have the quartet style singing, and then you have some mass choir singing, and as well as the original church, traditional church sound, and contemporary. But here at House of Blues, we um, try to feature the more traditional style with just a little touch of contemporary, because all of our guests that comes on Sunday mornings, they want to go down and go back a little yeah. bit and feel a little bit of that old spiritual in them. So here, that's what we do here at the House right. of Blues. We want to take them to church. Nice. Yeah, because I know some of them ain't been in a while, you know, so, yeah. <clears throat> oh, did I, I touch a me. toe? <laughs> did I hit a foot? <laughs> but that's okay, it's, it's, it's okay, you know. We're people, good today. We're not here for a religious purpose, you know. Everybody has their own God and whoever it is, we hope that they enjoy them and that it's a good thing. We just come here to give whoever your God is some praise. Right. Mine, I love him. I don't mind giving him some praise. Right. So my family on Sunday mornings, that's what this is, my, my Sunday morning family. I know that New Orleans is really, really famous for, of course, jazz yeah. and the blues. And the blues, yeah. And some people say that even gospel music originated here. Do you have a sense of that with people say like Haley Jackson and other people that came out of New Orleans? Or do you think that New Orleans has played a big part in gospel music? Yeah, definitely, because of the history behind it. And um, of course, being a gateway for um, a lot of the slaves to come in, of course. Yeah, there's a lot of spirituality and the, the root here. And I'm an evangelist, and they say, how do you sing the blues and jazz and gospel? Well, how do you eat pork chops and chicken <laughs> and steaks? You know, it all right. work. You right. know, I mean, it's all good music. It's clean music, and that's what I enjoy doing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I like to give people a good message, and if the song doesn't have a good message in it, I really don't want to sing it. Okay. I'm not saying that it's not any good for somebody else, but for me, it's good. And you can be religious and still have the blues. Yeah. I, I've been saying a long time, but I still get the blues. <laughs> Every now and then, it just gets me, you know what I'm saying? then gospel will kick in, yeah. so it's going to be all right. You know? yeah. So that's what we try to do with our guests on Sunday morning. For some great gospel music, please come down to House of Blues every Sunday and mm -hmm. see uh, Miss Wright and her band of merry singers. I see a lot of them over here gathering, getting ready to go on, and so uh, hopefully we'll see you down here. Ready to go to church? I am ready to go to Let's church. Let's go to church. We'll see you later. <laughs> David Raleigh was named a child prodigy in the Who's Who Book of Music. He is a popular recording artist, singer, songwriter, and piano player. David's heartfelt songs cross musical boundaries, generational boundaries, and the boundaries of six continents. To watch this show and more of David Raleigh's Music Scene episodes, visit TripSmarter.com.